All right, so before you mine anything, you're going to need a wallet to receive your reward. So if you head on over to Zeph's website here, simply on home, scroll down, and you can see options for a wallet. So they have a new GUI wallet, which is really easy to use. You can just simply click on this, and it'll have the download here. But if you're used to the Monero wallet, the Monero GUI and everything, and you want to run your own node, you're going to have to download the GUI. But that'll only work off a remote node. You're also going to have to go to the GitHub here. These first two ones, the latest ones, are only pool fixes. So you probably can use those, but I haven't. I have scrolled down, and here you can see Zephyr CLI wallet for Windows right here, 1.0.2. Download that, extract it, and you'll see a file called Zephyr D, Zephyr D. Uh, just like the Moneroid kind of thing with the D on the end. You just double click that. That'll sync up the blockchain and that'll be your own node running. That way you can add more decentralization and you'll pretty much be using your own node to receive and see all your transactions. It's more of a private secure way to do everything. So once you do all that, either way you want to get just a GUI or download both with the CLI. Depending on which way you want to connect, you come into your remote node here and just pick remote or maybe you have to disconnect and then choose local node. So this will actually then connect to your local node if it's running on the same computer. Now if it's not, you set up a custom node and just use the IP4 address and everything of a little node box or something you got on your home network. Set that up this way and then you can connect your wallet to your own node at home and then run everything that way. So for most people though right now, you know you're gonna download this and simply go into remote node here and then hit connect. It's gonna connect to everything and be good. So refresh block height if you're seeing, you're not seeing your transactions or you're updating from an older version, you're really late and behind on that. You're gonna also wanna restore this from block height zero. What that means is it's gonna restore and kinda of download every transaction that happened from the very first block on the Zeph network so it knows every transaction that went place. Now, obviously, if you started mining, I don't say block 100,000, you'd only really have to start syncing this from 100,000, but it is best to do it from number zero just so you get all the information in there. So that's kind of a fast rundown of this wallet. Now, to get your receiving address, simply click on receive here, and this is your primary account address. So this is where I am going to receive all my rewards too. So I'm just gonna click this, right click, copy, or I guess you can just click the copied here. This is copying your address, and this is the address you're gonna use to send everything to your miner rewards using your miner and so on. So let's move on and see what miner should we use to mine Zeph. Okay, so to start this off in Windows, you're gonna need a miner, and whenever it comes to anything CPU mining, if XM Rig supports it, that's usually the best miner to use. So in this, we're gonna be utilizing XM Rig. Now, SRB Miner does support some dual mining options and stuff as well, which we're not gonna be doing today, but we are gonna be mining straight Zeph. So again, XM Rig is the choice that you wanna pick here. As for the mining pool, we're gonna be utilizing Hero Miners, which is currently looking like the second place pool at 23.2% of the hash, and they're also the sponsor of today's video. So once you download your miner and extract it, you're gonna to come to something like this. Now I got a bunch of different bat files in mine already that I made, but there is an example which you can see here, pool mine example. I'm just gonna right click on this and show it to you. And here, you, all you gotta do for your own is just this part here. So you can make a new bat file or whatever, copy all this in, and then just fill in the parameters for the coin you need it. The other way you can set this up is to the config JSON file. So I'm gonna run through both of these, starting with the bat file. Personally, I like the bat file because then I can swap coins really fast instead of editing this JSON every single time. Example here, you can see I can just go to my solo node for a coin, uh, whatever I have that set up for, you know, Raptorium Ocean, you know, my own pool here for whatever coins, you know, we can start Zeph on Viper's test pool, you know, just start Zeph in general. We got Hero Miner set up, you know, so I can go to various different pools simply by double clicking on. So I do prefer for this way and then you can also really easily set your threads if you want this is my workstation on a 32 thread cpu the 7950x so i do like to run it at 30 that way i got a couple threads free for me like recording videos and stuff because i am mining right now as i record this so here we can kind of see the setup so xmrig.exe and then you can see this dash a here is our algorithm that is rx dash zero that is what the parameters for random x stands for dash o this is just stratum plus tcp so this is where we got to get our pool information if we simply come into hero miners we can see north america west usa pick the stratum with the lowest ping for you you can try them all if you want to use the stratum ping 
from two miners to test all these different stratums out for yourself. But I do find this is my lowest latency, even though I am in Canada. But this is Eastern Canada, and I'm in Western Canada. So I'm going with West USA. So I'm simply going to right-click. We're going to copy this, bring up our config here, and then we're just going to paste it in right here. So this is your pool address. So next, you're going to have to set up your wallet. Now, if you don't have a wallet yet, simply check out the wallet part of this video, and that'll get you up and running. So here you paste in your wallet, put in a period, and then your worker name. And then if you do want to set your threads just put a simple dash dash threads equals however many threads you want to utilize for mining then simply save that make sure it does save as a bat file if it doesn't just go to save as here make sure you do put all files and then at the back here just put dot bat so that'll make sure it does save as that bat file i obviously have mine ready to go so i don't have to worry about it so we're going to bring this back up now and we're going to kind of go through the config file for the json all right so opening up the json file here we're going to scroll down scroll 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 until we get to all the parameters part so here we can see pools and everything so we got to set our algo as we saw in the other one it is rx0 so we're going to come in and go rx-0 now you're not done because if you do this, your miner is not going to start or it's going to flash and do all sorts of wonky things. That's the thing with the JSON. If anything is off or missing a combo or parentheses or anything, it won't run. So just because you put your algo in, you still have to add quotations right there and right there. A lot of people have issues with that. That's a very common thing is make sure those quotations are on each side of the algorithm. Next, we're gonna move on. We can skip the coin part, that could stay null. We're gonna move on to the URL. So you don't need your stratum part for this, but we are gonna need that URL again. So we're just gonna paste that in that we copied earlier. There's our US Zephyr Hero Miner. So now we're gonna add our wallet address. So I'm gonna go back into that other one actually, and I'm gonna copy it over because this is where it is obviously you'd put it from your wallet or whatever you got it i got a bunch saved on a notepad so i'm going to copy my wallet over come back into my json config which is this one and i'm just going to put my wallet address into here and then put that and i'm going to go period and then rabid workstation i'm putting my password i don't know how to spell so rabid workstation right there password you can skip that is it that's all we have to do from this point on I'm gonna save this. It is all set with the parameters. And now we gotta run our miner. So this is running XM rig directly. Now, if this is the first time you installed XM rig, you're gonna to wanna to right click this or go down the properties actually, compatibility, and make sure you check on run this as administrator. You do wanna make sure your PC runs XM rig as administrator so that it does load huge pages and everything else that does add a hash rate boost for your processor. So next, if you already have that in, you could double click it or right click, run as admin, as we're about to see here, and we can see it's loading up everything, huge pages, scratch pads, all that stuff. Now, if you're seeing fail to add MSR mod or something, very first time you're running this, you may have to shut it off, reboot your PC, and then load it up again, run as administrator, and it should fix that, and you'll now get the extra boost and hash rate from XM Rig. For utilizing all these other parameters so we're just going to shut that off right there so that is how you run this both ways now you can see i can just simply click this way it'll run off your json or you can run off your bat file so we're just going to show you the confirmation here open yes and you can see we're going to hero miners off the bat file 30 threads is being utilized i can close that say i want to quickly jump into like raptor hash or something to mine gr coins we can load it up here i am straight in raptor hash so it's really easy to move coins around if you use the bat file but then again you can also use that json config file so that's pretty much it for win